again, it's Mike Mishley from The Success Hub and welcome to March. I hope you've had a strong January and February and business is going great. First time in a while, uh, I've got my suit back on today, shirt and tie, board meetings, uh, working with a company who's looking to get back to three million. Now, if you're serious about growing your business, I don't know what that number looks like to you, three million. Maybe you're already at four or five and that's awesome. Maybe you're at half a million and you want to get to three million. So my challenge to you today is what exactly are you doing seriously about achieving that target? Do you actually have a financial forecast in your business that you can measure, track performance against and grow against and make corrective actions should um, you wander off course? It's inevitable that you'll do that. Uh, nothing, you know, the path to success is never a, you know, a to Z. You know, you've got detours around every letter in the alphabet. And for me, I checked out the board papers last night and a couple of days ago when I was just asking the board members what their questions were and you know their concerns were. And the only thing that we ever went back to is where should we be? What is the forecast saying? What is the numbers saying? Yeah, sure, the sales director might be saying it's hard out there, or the operations director's got challenges on uh, you know customer service or fulfillment or manufacturing. But in reality, if you don't have a set of cast iron numbers in your business, you should say by the 27th of June 2017 I'm going to be here or there, then literally it's like driving a car with a windscreen blacked out. So if you're absolutely fed up with driving a car with a windscreen blacked out, and you need a serious strategy, a serious growth strategy, you need a strong business plan, and you need to grow, then check out mikemitchley.uk, uh, my entrepreneur successor, We've now got five people enrolled into that, and we've got a couple of spaces left. If somebody's looking to seriously make 2017 strong, it is for premium, next level entrepreneurs. It's the ultimate business coaching and business management uh, program. Now, I want to leave you with a couple of other um, sort of tips and guidance today. Uh, if you are struggling to get started, you know, even start with your accountant. Get him to run some forecasts based off your predictions. You know, if you've got somebody internally in your office who does that, even better. But finance is the number one discipline of running a business, and here's why. Without finance, operations and systems cannot be purchased or implemented. Without systems, you cannot put people into your business to run them. And for those who still think that people run businesses, I'm sorry they don't. It may be a personal business, but systems run businesses and people run systems. Thirdly, how can you market without finance? You've got no capital to go to market. How can you employ a sales team or have an online sales team presence, you know, an online e-commerce presence if you've no finance? And corporate governance that sits at the end, well, you know, it doesn't matter whether you run your business right or wrong if you're gonna be out of business. So the reality is five fundamental steps of business. Put a challenge on it today and here's what I want to ask you to do. Get a piece of paper, mark yourself and your own personal knowledge uh, and your team's knowledge if you've got one. Out of 10, what is my finance knowledge? Reading profit and loss accounts, understanding capital, understanding balance sheets, forecasting. Mark yourself out of 10 on that. Secondly, operations and systems. If you do a floor walk in your business or visually mind map you the process what your business is, maybe you work from home or whatever it would be. You know, have you got a system in place for finance? Have you got a system in place you know, for customer service? Have you got a system in place for manufacturing, quality control? Say for marketing, what's your marketing system? What's your sales system? You know, and do you have one for governance? Are you filing the correct regulatory uh, uh, statutory demands and uh, you know, balancing the shareholders, the stakeholders? So, recap, finance, score yourself out of 10. Operations and systems, score yourself out of 10. Marketing, you know, do you have a system in place that is totally aligned? At the successor, we call it the power of alignment. And that's where your business model, your finance model, and your marketing model all just click together and you can really achieve high growth. So what systems have you got in place for attracting new customers, educating them and retaining them? From a sales perspective, you know, how is that? You know, what systems and, 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 and score yourself out of 10 on sales? You know, are you closing? Not every lead, nobody does that. But are you closing your fair share? Are you out competing your competitors? Score yourself out of 10. And then corporate governance. Are you, if you're a limited company, are you holding board meetings? If you're partnerships, are you holding partnership meetings? Are you documenting the 